Welcome to Digital Hospitality. I am your host, Sean Walcheff. This is a Cali BBQ Media production coming to you from the JW Marriott in Austin, Texas at the Restaurant Transformation Festival hosted by Restaurant 365. Two day event sold out. Business leaders from all over the United States have come to this conference um, to find out about cool things in the digital hospitality space. And one of the coolest things is Lease Cake. Appreciate there is some buzz around Lease Cake. Um, I was very excited when I saw that you guys were sponsoring the show. I'm very excited to have the conversation with you today. Welcome to the show. Awesome. Thank you. Let yeah, us know who you are and what you do. So we're Lease Cake. What we want to do is really help restaurant operators manage real estate operations so that they can focus on providing really good customer experiences in their restaurants, not worry about missing a lease renewal date or a rent payment, and potentially losing a location. So if you think about a location, it's core to the business. It's where the customers come and they get yep. their food. But it's not everyone's a real estate expert in the restaurant space. So we want to be able to take a lot of that burden off their shoulders. So tell me more about the tech. How do you guys, what do you upload leases in, into the software? How does it go? So we do, yeah. We provide full turnkey support around real estate management. So we get the leases from our customers. All 50 we'll, states? All 50 states, South America, as well as Canada. Sweet. So really wherever your restaurants are. How many lawyers do you guys support. have working for you? So we're a pretty big support team, but yeah. we've recently launched some pretty cool stuff to drive AI assisted abstraction. Okay. So we're doing a lot more with the same amount of people okay. as previously before. But you know, you send leases over to us and what we'll do is we'll essentially run through those documents. We'll pull out any critical dates, any dollars that you owe the landlord, critical clauses that might be relevant to your operations in the restaurant. Think, you know, HVAC maintenance. Yep. You're gonna wanna know who owns the HVAC maintenance mm -hmm. if that air conditioner goes out. Instead of having to go pull out that manila folder, like in the old days, it's like searching on Google to get an answer. It's incredible. And get things solved quickly. Yep. Seriously, it's like when I learned about what you guys were doing, it's it seems like a no brainer with technology, but nobody was doing it. And then you've literally are helping restaurants specifically. Absolutely. Do you help? What other verticals are you in? So really restaurants and service retail. Okay. So think like hair salons, um, places where you get your nails done. Mm -hmm. So multi unit operators in those spaces, but food and beverage is really a majority of our customer base. Um, and it's interesting what you said before, where there's not a lot of people doing this. Mm -hmm. There's tons of real estate technology for the landlord side. Yeah. So the landlords are armed, right? And they're kind of the counterparty on that real estate lease. And they have all the data and technology and reminders to make sure, hey, we're getting paid on time. Mm -hmm. And if a tenant fails to pay on time, you're getting hit with late fees and penalties. It's not the flip side. And there's not a lot of technology to make sure that the tenant is on top of the real estate side. You know, I'm sure you're familiar with big Excel sheets that have kind yeah. of the dates they need to track or Google reminders. Very few platforms are really focused on the, the tenant operator. And that's where we saw an opportunity to kind of help people make sure that they're not, you know, ever at risk of losing a location. So a lot of our customers, unfortunately, come to us after they've lost a location and they oh, go, really? oh no, we missed a renewal. The landlord got us out. We need something. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it's a, just a reminder to stay on top of it before that happens because can be a pretty expensive ordeal if you get kicked out How of space. Do you also work with tenants that are looking for new space? So we do work with tenants looking for new spaces. What I would say is we don't focus on the site selection component of mm -hmm. like identifying sure. potential opportunities in a market. Yep. What we'll do is we'll really help on the task management side. Okay. So going from, hey, we wanna open a new restaurant through getting an LOI out and then an executed lease is a process that involves multiple parties, yep. right? Involved with trying to get that decision yep. to a close. So what we'll do is the task management around that. So helping people, one, get all the eyes on the right documents at the right time throughout that process, creating a very, very easy to use kind of a map view that lays out potential scenarios in a market. So you might have you know, five or eight locations that kind of fit the criteria of your restaurant or retail space. So what we'll do is we'll lay that out for you line up what the TIs might be, what the cost per square foot is, where these locations are, so that you can make a quick decision and move things from, you know, this is initially being put in front of me, to hey, I wanna do a site tour at these three locations, and, and this is the one that moved on to an LOI. So we do help uh, a little bit on the site selection process. We're, we're not like a Buxton or a place or AI where we're doing that geospatial data to understand, you know, what might be, you know, a suitable location for the brand, yeah. but we do accelerate the process of going from, I wanna open up my next location, to getting that lease executed so you can start to do the build out. That's exciting. Yeah. Tell me about the, how long has the company been around? Tell me about the growth. 
Yeah, so we are close to about five years old right now. Okay. And uh, we really started because there's a recent accounting rule that went into effect pretty recently. Okay. Uh, ASC 842, you, if you bring that up to most restaurant operators, they're going to groan. It's been a painful process. Historically, you didn't need your, your leases on the balance sheet like you do today. So that's kind of what was the, you know, the cause for forming lease cake or an issue that we saw mm -hmm. that a lot of restaurant operators probably weren't prepared for, which is taking you know, all your future rent payments, you know, basically discounting them based on a in incremental borrowing rate or risk-free treasury rate. This part's a little dry probably for most That's folks. fine. No, get an inside baseball. Let's so go. what we want to do is basically accelerate that process. And, and that's where we saw a lot of customers early on in our journey coming on board. Hey, I need help with the lease accounting for ASC 842. And then once they're in the platform, they realize I can track a lot of other things. Like I mentioned before, critical clauses in my leases. I want to be able to quickly identify, you know, what's a cap on cam in this area or this particular location. And, and we, you know, enable operators to get that data at their fingertips pretty much. And what's been really interesting is watching people use the flexibility of the platform to just run more efficient business operations. So cool. people are tracking things like business license renewals, liquor license renewals. We have a... Uh, large supercuts franchisee that's tracking actually cosmetology okay. licenses for their, their oh, wow. stylists so it becomes more of a, a platform you know once you get the real estate data, data in there to start to track like anything that might have a expiration or a renewal that you need to keep your eye on to keep your business operating and specifically how do you work with restaurant 365 clients so the way we work with restaurant 365 clients today is what we want to do is support them on the real estate accounting side mm -hmm. and then provide an easy uh, essentially export on the journal entries for rent payments so we are currently today using their traditional kind of csv entry to get those journal entries mm -hmm. into r365 but you know as we evolve and start to work with r365 more we'd love to figure out a way to what make that more seamless because i know how i can talk to some, some people yeah thank you yeah what, we just, what do you guys need <laughs> we want to create just a seamless operating experience for restaurant yeah. operators so uh, just starting to dive into if there's any potential integration opportunities is something we're excited about exploring. And that's kind of why we're, why we're here today. So That's great. And tell me, how have you guys, how do you, how do you get the word out about Lease Cake besides so coming on shows like this? We come to shows, <laughs> we come on shows like this. We have been hitting the conference circuit hard. So we've what been. What have you learned on the conference circuit? I think what we've learned is that. How many shows this year in 2023? I think we did about 24 shows this wow. year. It's a lot. It's down from 70 last year. Wow. So we've, we've been hitting the road hard. So you've probably seen the Least Cake name or the Least Cake logo right mm -hmm. here in my hat. Um, but we, yeah, we want to make sure that restaurant operators, you know, know we're out there, you know, recognize that there's, some, there's risks out there. If you miss a renewal date, sometimes the landlords are not amenable to mm -hmm. just saying, hey, we're going to keep you in the space. I have a colleague, actually, who just told me a story where I think it was unfortunate. She, yeah. had, she had sued the landlord the year before and then you know, they missed the renewal date. Mm -hmm. So this landlord wasn't about to keep them in the space, but unfortunately they, they lose their location. So what we want to do is make sure that doesn't, doesn't happen. So as we go to these shows, what we really recognize is that there's a lot of technology out there today. And what, one of the most important things is, is that that technology needs to be easy to use for us and our operators because they're on the go. Mm -hmm. They have so many things that they need to worry about. And that was a big focus with Lease Cake. It's just a beautifully designed software, intuitive and easy to use that puts reminders in front of you at the right time so nothing slips so it's a big focus of what we've been doing and uh what do you guys do on the storytelling side like on social on digital so we're starting to get better at that yeah what, what's really exciting um and that we're starting to do it's probably not gonna you know compare to your show but we are starting to do <laughs> more webinars so we're bringing in you know, customers good. that you know yeah. have experience in our platform and might be working with other partners so we have an upcoming webinar um, with the CEO of Ike's, Adam Ranala, yep. who will be coming on our show. He's going to talk about how he leverages technology to just drive operational efficiencies in his stores, doing that with a partner called EcoTrack that's on the CMMS side of the business. Cool. So really just trying to get our operators to tell their stories yep. uh, on our show. And it's probably not too dissimilar. It'll be a little tech focused and, you know, obviously a little bit of a lease cake commercial, but we really want it to drive value for people yep. who listen and, Hopefully you can understand, hey, this is working for another operator. We should maybe look into that. So. That's awesome. And where can people learn more about Lease Cake? Uh, Leasecake.com would be a great place to start. Uh, all of our information will be there. There's a contact us form. And we have a fantastic team that will you know, be happy to hop on a call with you, answer any questions you have about what we do you know, to support your business. Who came up with the name? So this is a pretty funny story. Well, I like funny so, stories. 
CEO is uh, a man named Taj. If you've been to basically any restaurant show in the last year and a half, you've probably seen him. He wears a bright jacket. You know, usually it's a floral print or some crazy pattern. Awesome. So he definitely knows how to draw attraction to the booth. But what he likes to say is he's the guy you put together two words that really shouldn't belong together, you know, lease and cake. But we've really come to own it because, you know, we've made leasing a piece of cake for a lot of our That's customers amazing. now. So Seriously, I, I mean, we work... If anyone's seen the restaurant tech stack of how many different <laughs> players there are now in the restaurant digital hospitality space, um, a lot of the names, frankly, aren't that very good. <laughs> <laughs> Your guys has a great name, great brand, um, and I look forward to, to you guys telling more stories on the internet. Have you ever heard of Mr. Restaurants on TikTok? I have not, no. Okay, Kyle Fill and Sarah, in, yeah. shout out to Kyle. Uh, but he is in the specifically restaurant real estate side. And uh, I think he could probably make some great content about Lee's Cake. So really? um, I'll connect you guys. Together. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And anybody listening, follow Mr. Restaurants on, on TikTok, Kyle and Sarah on Instagram. But uh, for you guys, how do people uh, find you on social? Uh, social probably be, I think. What's your I, most active platform? Uh, most active platform. That's a great question. It's probably LinkedIn right now. Okay. So we do a lot of posting on LinkedIn. What kind of content on LinkedIn? Uh, so it's a lot of those articles around, you know, restaurant case studies who have used the platform mm -hmm. and, you know, we help them save, uh, from save, save themselves from missing a critical date that would have caused them to lose the locations. We have stories like that. How do you that. write those articles? Um, it's a great question. Uh, we interview we, guests. We interview customers. guests. What we do is we actually, this is a Taj thing. So I mentioned okay. before our CEO, he'll bring cameras and yep. like a full setup, almost like this. Yep. And we'll do interviews at our booths actually with customers. I love it. So they'll swing Who's by. Not publishing that video. We have some of those videos online. Yeah, actually. Okay. So if you go to our case studies on our website, you can go and actually see some of those videos. And then Only on YouTube. Uh, I think we do have a YouTube as well. I'll have to double check that yeah. though. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help you. Person. We're, we're, <laughs> so you're already doing the work. Well, what we teach is we're all telling stories on the internet. We, we tell stories in real life. It's how do we publish them on the internet? And how do you get it out there? Yeah, the how word. do you get it out there? It's audio, video, words, and images. That's all online storytelling. Yeah. We make it more complicated once we start thinking, is it a TikTok video, a YouTube video, Instagram reels? All that doesn't matter. It's just short form video. How do we get it out there? Yeah. Do so the website there? is the number one place for yep. most of that information today. Do have a YouTube? I don't know the YouTube long handle yeah. URL, so I couldn't tell you that right now. But it's we'll figure it out. And put it in <laughs> it's the show linked notes. to our. It's linked in our website, and then LinkedIn has obviously been a big, big avenue for us as well. And are you personally posting on LinkedIn? I was for a short period of time and admin on our know. LinkedIn. You'll so I, I don't. I, we, just, we just hired a marketing person, so they may have taken me off of it. Unfortunately, what? No, yeah. but your own personal LinkedIn. My own personal LinkedIn. This will definitely be on there. Okay, and I'm going to be a See? big you know follower yeah. of the podcast Sweet. going forward too. So. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, because it doesn't matter if you're in social, everyone's in social media there. If you're in sales, if you're an engineer, if you're a CEO, if you're a founder, it's everyone's job to use all the platforms to tell the story. So the more people, so you guys can help more restaurant owners. Absolutely. Like there's enough landlord, the landlords have enough money. <laughs> they have enough money. Is, it's hard enough to make money in the <laughs> restaurant. We need the digital hospitality tools that are going to help us be more profitable, be more sustainable, and do things that we like to do. They have the same data that the landlord has when you yeah. go into that negotiation. Exactly. That's a big component of what yeah. we want to do. But I got to go find out where our YouTube is. I'm going to start okay. promoting that. So. Perfect. Yeah. Right on. Well, we appreciate it. Lease Cake, check them out. Restaurant 365, uh, check out the Restaurant Transformation Tour. You can go and see their upcoming events. Sign up so that uh, you hopefully become a part of these awesome festivals. Thank you. Awesome. Appreciate your time. Great job. Thanks.